Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a lightsaber effect in motion. Um, uh, right here will be an annotation to my other lightsaber tutorial. It's in After Effects. It's different. It's a very different editing program. Some people say these are the same. They're not the same. They're very different. Okay. So, let's... Okay, aimless key... So, you see, I have... Video now. I'm gonna drag it into here. Okay, aimless keyframing. Just go. Uh, let me pause it. Okay. So it's there's a lightsaber and everything like that. It's good. You can pinch to zoom in and zoom out. You slide your fingers to go which way. Okay. So I'll close this. I'm gonna. Hmm. So we want to make a blade to this. So what we'll do is we'll go here to the shape tool. You may not use the shape tool, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's zoom in here. Just to get this, you want to have a slight round tip. So let's have three at the end because it'll be very important. So as you can see, it's a shape layer and it will be white, which is the color we want it. And then we'll hit this and we'll feather it a bit. Um <laughs> you can go to inspector. Inspector the feather. So you have all these controls. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't used this tool much. I've used it some. So you don't want to find so shape uh, geometry type beezer roundness can round it off a little just a little that'll help um okay so we have all this looks pretty good looks just like a lightsaber so what you'll do is you'll go this hit this bring this down you want to keyframe the mask so you'll change this to edit points and then we'll zoom way in until we can see the individual layers. So now I'll go like that and drag the points. You can turn it off so you can see. Uh, that sometimes works better. Um, okay, so that looks good. Um, so now let's see if it keyframes. So now you have a good motion. So we'll just keep keyframing. I'm being very quick about this. If it unselects, go back to it. It should be right there. If you ever just see like um the normal arrow tool, like it'll just look like this. And you wanna like change the mask. You can't do anything. You have to go down here to edit points, and it'll bring up that thing, so now you can edit the points. If if it's very smooth like that, see, it's very obvious, you can go two frames over. And for this one, I'll just change it a little. Yeah. And then we'll select. That didn't work. Okay. So we'll drag this down to there. So now, you see, for that one, didn't really work. Let's move these correct. So you have, it looks good like that. I'm not going to do very many. And then right here, we'll bring it out. So you can't see it. 
So now we have this cool lightsaber animation that's a few frames long. Looks pretty good. Doesn't really look like a lightsaber. But it looks good. Now we'll close this off. Um, we'll say object, new group. Okay, and then we'll drag the mask into that new group. That was the group it was in into the new group so it's going to be a group within this group you can do as many groups within groups you want I know what we're going to do select that go this go glow and glow so now you're going to turn up the radius now yeah that's right it looks like a lightsaber play with these until it fits um woo. Looks good. Now, we're going to create another shape. So zoom out. Make sure you're in this group. Um, take a mask tool and mask out all the way around. And we can uncheck this keyframe thing. Okay, now I have here. Um, this one, set the fill to black. Okay, and the outline. Uh, we don't really want an outline. Whatever, okay. Now it looks good. You want to put this underneath the other one. So, we'll just go like that. So now you have, uh, this should be on top of it. Oh, um, take this one, and then set this one to fill with white, or if you want, you can, like, um, change it to, like, green. You could either change the color this way, I'll, um, I'll show you a better color later. So now you have this black thing behind it, and now you are going to go into here go to color correction levels go to red or whatever one you want and let's turn do we want it red you know let's make it blue so we'll turn down the red go to green and turn down the green until you have that looks way too extreme We'll make it green. Yeah, so until you have some green like that, that looks good. Now, we'll go to the group and hit this. Set the group branding, blending mode to screen. Okay, so now you have a good lightsaber effect.